Hi, I'm Lisa Elliott, SDSU Commodity Marketing Specialist. Today I will be discussing optimizing and backtesting technical indicators for agricultural marketing plans. Most market trading and charting platforms use default settings for technical indicators. Market participants may want to adjust these settings to improve the performance of the technical indicator for achieving their objective and willingness to take on risk. Let's say the objective is to increase the price received when selling a commodity that is produced. By adjusting the technical indicators, the technical signal can be in better alignment with the risk market participants are willing to take given their risk tolerance and result in an expected enhancement in price received. Most market charting platforms allow the user to alter the standard technical settings and apply the altered settings on a price chart to monitor. The question that you should ask though is should you adjust the technical indicators? One way to inform a market participant whether they should adjust the technical indicators is to backtest various combinations of settings for the technical signals using historical data. Backtesting means to look at the performance of a marketing strategy or technical signal given market movements in the past. Testing the historical performance should be done for each commodity and market, whether futures and or cash. In the case where the objective is to receive a higher selling price for a commodity to be produced, the performance factors can be based on average price received when selling the commodity and the average number of selling triggers produced over time. For example, if a producer is using a Bollinger Band technical indicator as a hedging selling signal, the producer is waiting for prices to break above the upper Bollinger Band before they make a sale. Adjustments can be made to the number of days used to calculate the moving average and the number of standard deviations used to determine where the upper and lower Bollinger Bands are placed. Various combinations of different moving average periods and number of standard deviations used for the settings of the Bollinger Band can be evaluated historically. Each setting would likely produce a different average price received and number of selling triggers. For example, Setting the number of standard deviations for a Bollinger Band at 3 in a marketing rule may have historically resulted in a higher average price, but produce fewer selling signals. While a setting of two standard deviations for a Bollinger Band in the same marketing rule historically may have resulted in a lower average price received, but resulted in more signals. Depending on the producer's risk tolerance, a risk-averse producer may choose the second Bollinger Band setting because it would likely produce more selling signals in the future. The decision may be made even though the price received is not expected to be as high. The producer must make a decision on their willingness to trade off a higher price received with the probability that the marketing rule will result in a sale based on the rule. If there have been few selling signals in the past, then the rule may result in the same condition in the future. Thus, an additional rule would need to be developed to enhance price when the first condition does not occur. The risk averse producer may place higher value that the rule they develop will trigger over the course of the marketing period, even though they know it is unlikely to result in the highest price received. On the other hand, a risk-taking producer may prefer a rule that when it occurs is likely to result in a higher price, but is less likely to occur. Using backtesting, a producer can choose the best technical settings to fit their marketing objectives that are aligned with the risk tolerance of the operation. For more information on this topic, visit igro.org.